It's now been about 10 or 11 years. It says 10, but I think it's been 11. Maybe it uh, hasn't been the same month as when I first joined. I don't even know how to check it. But it's been about 10 or 11, about 11 years, and I thought I would do uh, my end of the bargain after Village Boy 44 on the Discord uh, did the house tour, and it was my idea to do it. I thought it would be about time for me to do my part in uh, uh, having a house tour. And first of all, I mean, look at this. I never would have thought that at the beginning it would have been anything like this. I mean, I don't know how... I mean, just in the last year, you know, one and a quarter million views. Like, a hundred thousand a month. And when we first started, it was just like nobody and it was the most basic art possible. Like, if we go back far enough, we have this very simple, you know, just uh, fill in the colors stuff. A lot of us deleted now, but we would actually get away with uploading something like this and saying, yeah, it's the US Army, can't you tell? It's like, no, that's an egghead with an ugly face. But anyway, we're not here to look at computers. It's been one heck of a journey, that's for sure. So anyway, this is my office. This is where the magic happens. This is uh, where a lot of cool things have happened. Where a lot of good and bad decisions were made. There's some uh, models on top here from various sources. And uh, the, uh, the air aircraft uh, are P-47D. They're both 143rd scale, I believe, made by Franklin Mint. And then these tanks, I don't know how long we've had these things, for like 20 years, and now they're mine, I guess, but... Um, I don't know what this water thing is, I just got it, and I've just been filling it up with water, and... It's, uh, it's my main, main receptacle for water. It, uh, uh, it works, it serves its purpose. But, I got my NASCAR here. I don't know what the plural of NASCAR is, I guess NASCARs. I got an Avenger here. I didn't build it, it's getting dusty, but it was a nice model, got it for like two dollars. Got a battle rifle, of course. And I got this case for my friend Maggie when she quit work. Uh, classic box fan. A staple of low, low economic status households. Gotta have the box fan. This is pretty much the eBay pile, the eBay shelf where stuff that was gonna go on eBay uh, ends up on there. And this is just some World War One thing I found at a rummage sale for twenty bucks, and it's signed by soldiers and stuff. It's like, oh, it's pretty cool. There's a World War One, you know, cemeteries, military cemeteries, and got some vault bobbleheads and some Halo figures. And I wish this was real. If this was real, it would be worth like two or three thousand dollars. But unfortunately, it is not. That's my dad. Uh, I have my planes up here. I put those up when I was like 12 or 13 or something, and every once in a while they get blown down like this poor... The camel got blown down. That's my computer from like 2013. We got a temporary one while the other ones are broken. A bookshelf. And, and for the Fallout fans, here's my life savings, of course. That, that deodorant is so strong, I just use it for air freshener. But that one was from my job when the pandemic started. It was like a, a pass to say that I'm an essential worker and if I get stopped by the police I can't get arrested because I'm on my way to and from my very essential job which made me feel not essential at all. And then uh, this is my eviction notice from 2015 after my father died. Uh, at the same time I'm trying to, you know, get to grips with that. I'm also having no money and getting an eviction notice in the mail saying you have five days to get out of here or else you're going to be thrown on the street. And I put this up when I was a kid too. And here we have Fluffy Face and her house. So this is our wonder wonderful bathroom. I don't know. It served its purpose. There's my toothbrush. I try to go for kind of like a hotel style in here. A lot of the pictures on the walls and stuff in this house are from like Value Village and thrift stores. 
And this is the proper way to put it. There is no other way to put toilet paper. But, I don't know. It's cleaner in here than it used to be, that's for damn sure. It looks dirty as hell, but you don't want to see the before picture, but... Good stuff. Head and shoulders, good stuff. You can't use it anywhere else. I don't know who actually washes their shoulders with it, but... These pictures are pretty cool. But, uh... Yep. Yeah. I mean, a bathroom is a bathroom. Scruff head. And here's the bedroom. So, I started putting these up. Different, uh, you know, the different stuff around the house to try to improve the place. And it was semi-successful. It, uh, I improved this place more than the landlords did. But there's my dirty laundry. I'm sure you're really loving to see that. But this mirror is actually off of that, but I took it off and put it over here. I put the TV on, and here's the DVD collection. And, uh, no, I'm not joining the Marine Corps. I just put that up there because, you know, flag. Anyway, some pretty good movies. Some ones that are meh, and some ones that are great. I don't know. There's me and my parents, and uh, there's Cleo the cat. I never caught that fish. That was five dollars on a rummage sale. Uh, and my dad again. Good man. Miss him every day. This alarm clock I've had forever. I mean, this thing is just falling apart, and I'm trying to hold it together. But it, it's really effective. It will wake your ass up. That is for sure. And this is my cat's house, but she doesn't use it. Used to when it was in the other room, but I'll probably throw that out soon. And uh, some books, shoes. The repertoire of the 10 shirts that I wear constantly and uh, photo albums and a bunch of random hats and uh, there was a suitcase here but I gave it to my friend Joe last night and so whatever air conditioner pfft. oh back there is the old computer I had that one broke in like 2019 or something 20 and I had to rush out and get another one Instead of just fixing that one, but I couldn't tell what was wrong with it. I tried to fix it and couldn't. So, anyway, so this light is broken. That's my dad. That's actually a real painting that somebody, uh, he hired someone to do. And, uh, so we went to my grandma's house after she died and he was like, I don't want anything. And I saw this picture and I was like, that's my dad. And I grabbed it, you know, and I was like, hmm. I don't know, 17? We went over there and I grabbed it. So, I enjoy it. Glad to have it. And I don't know where it would be if uh, I didn't take it. So, I guess his brother would have took it. But I want it! Anyway, time to go upstairs. So, this is... This is pretty much the living room. There's uh, a few things going on here. So this was my dad's chair. It looks worn down and looks like crap now, but it was uh, it was good in its heyday. But uh, of course my dad burned a hole in it a long time ago, right here. So my mom was not too happy about that. Of course there's candy and stuff on here. My friend Joe was here last night. So there's stuff lying around and, and he smokes. So there's stuff going on around here but anyway so it was a nice chair while it lasted and uh it's gonna get replaced soon um yeah i guess this is my dad everybody can be happy to meet him now i mean unfortunately this is where we're all gonna end up someday um especially as burials become less and less popular because it's just the price gets extreme but he'll get a proper burial someday and uh, hopefully we've done everything in life that we want to do before this happens to us. And this is where I keep my, my stuff before I go to work. Um, well, when I had a job, now I'm unemployed. <laughs> I, I guess I'm retired until, I, uh, until the end here. Until the next job. This is what we watched last night. It's my first time watching Reservoir Dogs, and I thought it was alright. He recommended it. And the other choices were Men in Black and The Warriors. 
I've already seen The Warriors, but it's been so long, it would be like watching it for the first time again. So, anyway, here's our beautiful TV. It's been here forever. And yes, I do use my VCR because DVDs are 15, 20, 30, 40 dollars. And, and uh, these VHS tapes are like, always like 25, 50 cents a piece at thrift stores and it's the same movie, so hey. So, got my NASCARs down there, including one from the wonderful bankrupt Circuit City. Which I actually have been inside of. I am old enough. It's my jacket from work. and I put this up. Um, same goes for that. And this door that's been here forever. And there's the marks for me constantly kicking it closed because it doesn't always want to close. Don't worry. Nobody's here. It's just me. So usually there's candy in here, but not right now. There'd be usually jawbreakers or car caramels in there. This is my old Xbox. It's not actually my old Xbox. It is a old Xbox and old Xbox. Um, I bought it off eBay because I wanted to play Mercenaries. And they never ported the game Mercenaries correctly to the 360. So I had to go out and buy another one and the system just to play that. But I also wanted to relive the old days. I mean, who doesn't want to go back to the era of this controller, you know? Especially the real fat one I had an example of, but uh, uh, I don't have that right now. This was on its way out. I was using that as a cover for the kitchen table uh, when I was taking the photographs of my historical collection for the Future Museum. And of course, the vacuum, the most important part of the entire tour. So, this is our lovely, noisy ass neighborhood. Every time these lights turn green, everybody floors it and you can never have the window open in the winter time because it's cold and you can never have it open in the summertime because it's uh, so damn noisy. So we're kind of just stuck with it being closed all the time. We'll come back to the outside later. So anyway, these are the VHS tapes. There's actually a lot of good movies in here. Um, I tried having a collection of what's basically amount of the best movies ever made and I think I succeeded um, I mean there's not really much missing in here besides uh, a few you might yell at me about but really everything is pretty much in here and there's uh, a lot of other stuff going on some of these I like some of these I didn't I did not watch all of these yet but um, hopefully I'll get through all of them uh, someday but, point is, a lot of good movies, and uh, unlike Netflix, they can't just take it down and say you can't watch it right now, because I got it, a physical copy. That's junk from under the sink. There's a huge pile of napkins and some other crap there that was on the kitchen table, but that's a mess too right now. And oh my god, this kitchen table is so old. It doesn't look like it on video probably, maybe it does, but it has been here. Damn, iPhone storage is getting full. Anyway, yeah, so this was from the uh, Boston store uh, liquidation sale when they were selling off everything. And uh, this is the uh, stove after I cleaned it recently, but there's still new grime on there. And those sinks we're not even gonna get close to because those are the last part of the house that I'm still trying to uh, come to terms with. We need to, uh, I mean, this house, if you haven't, really been able to tell already we have lived here or at least i've lived here before it was with me and my parents but now it's just me we have lived here for 13 years and it sure as hell looks like it and this is not my fault take a deep breath ready this is water damage from the outside coming in this was not my fault i plead innocent And I don't know if this is like, what the hell caused this, but if it's coming down through the other side of the wall and I don't report anything to the landlords because they're a bunch of lazy bastards anyway and they probably just charge me for it, even though it's them causing it. So they can they can have it once, uh, once I move out someday and uh, they can deal with it. We've had this microwave once again for 
who the hell knows how long, just forever, and it just still works, so we still have it. And this refrigerator, refrigerator is uh, more empty than you would like it to be. And various pairs of scissors have been in here, and keep using the little holster there, because it works. And if you ever need a cheap, like, decoration, just take the 24-pack and uh, box and cut one side of it off and, and just tape it to the side there. That one's off a 12-pack, and it's like, hey, you have Coca-Cola posters now. Yay. There's some artwork I did while I was in elementary school, and this was pretty fun being on the, uh, the Badger. So, Jesus Christ, Alice, make a mess. But this is the home of Mr. Gilligan back when he was alive. And that's the ship my dad was on. I, mean, I need to get this fish tank out of here because it is, um, uh, it's in the way and it's not going to be used. And I definitely don't want to fumble around with this thing, trying to clean it for three hours, if I'm lucky, maybe four hours, um, just to take care of one fish. I mean, I'm fished out and his food is still there. Uh, I got this at the military collectible shop in uh, West Dallas, Wisconsin. Um, after I sold my German cross in gold, here's the backpack I took to work every day. Don't need that anymore. Anyway, time to go outside. Ugh. Hey, I have mail. What the hell is this? Don't tell me this book is here already. Hey, and another electric bill. That's what I need. Good stuff. Come back to that. Throw it. Oh yeah, by the way, this is not used at all. You can probably tell by the noise why I'm never gonna live on a busy street ever again. Anyway, I would make this walk every day. It's a much shorter walk than the walk to the bus stop I used to take all the time. And by the way, the sign right there is the sign that uh, when Dr. Luke, Mr. Luke, Mr. Luke 27262 would put on his uh, a page many years ago. I'll put a picture up. He put a picture of the South Milwaukee, welcome to South Milwaukee sign. And he didn't know, probably, that the picture of the sign is right across the street from my house. By pure coincidence. Like right over here is Oak Creek, and right over here is uh, the entrance, like this street is the border of South Milwaukee. But anyway, I don't know if anybody remembers when I would yell about the landlords not plowing out my spot, but this is the spot and this is my beautiful car. It's been, uh, it was bought for 2500 and it's an amazing car, it was only... 75,000 uh, miles when I got it and uh, of course they would plow out these lovely landlords would plow out all of these parking spots except mine right here and then just dump snow on top of it and uh, they would do that every year and I don't know I'm like generally non-confrontational unless it's really serious I tell you this is a racetrack here I'm never living at a place like this again <laughs> Anyway, let's get back into quiet land. Jesus Christ. And that's why we never have the window open. Anyway, yeah, the landlords would never plow out my spot, and I would just shovel it, and I was like, oh, whatever, it's just exercise anyway. And, uh, you know, that's the way it went. And, uh, you know, I'm generally non-confrontational unless it's something actually serious. And I was like, you know what? You're not even worth my time, you know. The winter here isn't that long, and it never snowed that hard until this year when it actually made me really angry. And I figured I wouldn't uh, raise hell about it because I was expecting them to uh, cancel the lease early because uh, I'm moving out of here recent soon. So, by the way, this clock stopped about five years ago. Uh, well, maybe about three years ago, and I just never fixed it. It just needs a double A battery. 
and uh, I just never did because you don't really need a clock these days. We got the iPhone, one of the greatest inventions of all time. So anyway, back up into the layer here. So yeah, pretty much what I do is sit here, as you never would have guessed, and uh, take care of business. You know. So what will often happen is just come home, take your shoes off, take your whatever off, take your shoes and go like this and say, ah, and like get your chair, get caught on the freaking carpet. And you take one foot like this and one foot like this and watch whatever is going on on the screen and talk to people from all over the world and uh it's been it's been fun i would do all this all over again and um uh, you know and it's also real life friends too like i mentioned joe came over and we go on trips and, and i had a lot of good friends at work but a lot of them quit because they have brains and they get, went on to get real jobs and uh unfortunately just like the with the friends from school they've uh generally lost contact but you know, people get older and they move away and you go find new people and and uh, the real friends will stick with you the entire way, no matter how far away they are in terms of uh, physical distance. But, you know, real friends will always be with you in one form or another. And this cat is about 18 years old, even though it doesn't look like it, which is about 89 years old in human years. So anyway, that's my house. And uh, hope more people will post their houses after this and we'll see what happens. So thank you.